Hello and welcome to this video demonstration where I will show you how to configure the BOAS on RTU32 running as an IC61850 server. First I will start by opening the Stratum workbench. Then add a new project. Select the destination folder, give the project a name. Then select the structured text. Set up the IP address of the RTU32. So what I need to do now is to enable the driver and configure it. This is done in the field bus configurator, so I'll start by opening this, then right click, insert configuration, select the, the IC61850 server. So what I need to do now is to read an SCL file. You can either define an SCL file from an external program, or you can make one in the Stratum workbench, and this is what I'm going to do now. So I'll right-click the project, s select Insert New Item, and then the IC61, we'll call ID RTU32. What I'll do now is just to make a similar one with one GGIO and an unbuffered uh, report. So I'll add the mandatory once and then add a new type called GGIO and then select status and say that the indication now I can add my logical node GGIO now I'll add a data set which is going to contain the GGIO so right, double click it select indication. OK. Now I'll add a report block, select unbuffered, and then select the data set which is going to be used in the buffered reports. Now save it, go back to the field bus configurator, right click, and then read variables from SCL file, insert Here's our file, and then I'll just select these indications because this is what I'm going to manipulate in the Stratum workbench. So I'll just say OK. So now our three variables which I selected from the list is created. So what I'll do now is just to add a variable connected to the first digital input on the RTU32 properties, select the appropriate profile, and then OK. Then I'll say ID RTU32, and then the compile it, then I'll download to the RTU32. So now I've configured the BOAS and RTU32 running the IC61850 server driver. Thank you, this was all for now. Goodbye.